With Pokemon Legend ZA due out next year, I wanted to play a few of the games that might be relevant beforehand. This journey starts with Y, carries on through Ultra Sun, and maybe Legends Arceus if we have time. The catch? We're making this an art block. So, let's enjoy a little gaming and a little art together. Well, welcome back, trainers. You are with Pewter City Gym, and today we're going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Pokemon Y version. This is an art lock. What does that even mean? An art lock is basically like a regular Nuzlocke, but if anyone uh, gets added to the team or anyone evolves, we draw a little picture of them. They get to show up in a speed paint. Hopefully, you guys like seeing that. Other than that, regular Nuzlocke rules apply, so if anyone faints in battle, they are considered dead, removed from the party. We never see them again. I just want to spend time with my Pokemon, but everyone keeps challenging me to battles. I ran all the way here, and yet I still can't find any peace and quiet. Uh, ma'am. Ma'am. You... You chased me. You have a Weavile. So Armus is going to have trouble with that. Armus, Yvaltal. Wasn't going to use the legendary Pokemon. Decided uh, at the last minute that it was a good idea to, uh, to use it just because it replaces my... Um, my other dark type that I had on the team. Ice punch. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Alright. Oblivion wing. We have a severe ice type weakness uh, on the team. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, we're gonna switch Pokemon, of course. Uh, yeah, we definitely have a, a fairly severe ice type weakness on the team. Uh, Julian is literally the only Pokemon that can really do anything to this guy. Um, and it is a bummer. It is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I don't think that there's an Ice-type Elite Four member. Now, this is where I, I sort of remember that I don't remember a lot of the Elite Four for this game. I know... Um, what was her name? Malva? Pink-haired lady, fire-type specialist. I remember her. Uh... Wickstrom, so he's the steel type guy. There was the dinosaur lady, she was a dragon trainer, okay. And. Migly Mogru to level 62. Um. That's it, I don't remember. I know the champion is Diantha. I can see that you and your Pokemon trust each other very much. We do, yeah. Um, I remember Diantha's the champion, and I think she starts off with a Hawlucha? But other than that, I really don't uh, don't remember a lot of what goes on here. Um, I'm just gonna go. I'm not taking really a lot of chances here. Just gonna go ahead and, and heal up. Um, I'm also, you know, what I'm gonna do actually. I'm also gonna turn off the uh, the experience all. Um, simply, be actually, key items, right? Yeah. Turn it off. Uh, simply because I think we're a little over-leveled um, for at least the Elite Four. I don't know about um, the Champion, but I think we're a little over-leveled for the Elite Four, and I don't want it to be too big of a cakewalk, so... If I lose the run, this is where it happened, probably. Okay. Uh, you look like you'd be a good opponent for my Steelix to gain some good experience. Oh, Steelix. I was just talking about Steelix uh, at the end of the last episode. I was like, if I got a Steelix, I'd name it Neelix. But instead, I named a Girder Neelix because Neelix is kind of a clown. Alright, level 56. So we're a little higher level than the trainers here at the moment. Uh, snarl. See how that goes. Oh, more than half. All right. And the special attack fell. So I don't think that makes too much of a difference to Steelix, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm already using a legendary Pokemon. I don't necessarily want to cheese my way through uh, the Elite Four with a, a team of, you know, level 70 Pokemon. <laughs> Electrode. Um, switch Pokemon. Go for Linus. Those. Oh, it's a little faster than us. That's fine. Uh, 
Gotcha. Kangaskhan, switch Pokemon. Um, Miglimo. My first time ever using a Hawlucha in my team. So, pretty happy with it. It's, uh, it's doing a lot of good work so far. I mean, during training, anyway. Alright, super effective. Kangaskhan is bulky, though. Outrage. Didn't do that much damage. Okay, we'll do Flying Press. We got one boosted, uh... Ooh, attack. There we go. That's that. Ace Trainer Bents. Oh, hey, we have a, uh, a friend of the channel. His name is Bents. So, hopefully he sees this. Uh, your Pokemon are the ones that got experience from this match. Yep, they did. But not as much as they could have gotten because I turned off that experience all. Okay. What's over here? Oh, I don't have Rock Smash on anything? Okay, never mind. It's not a good enough move for me to want to add it to the... <laughs> to the lineup right now. Alright, a Lickitung. Oblivion Wing! Sounds like a Digimon attack, honestly. Couldn't you just hear Birdramon screaming that from up in the sky? Alright, here we go, one more. Perfect. Oh, and we got a fighter right here. Come on. Oh no. Wild battle. I was kind of spoiled by Pokemon and Neil. I'll be honest, because uh, going through that game in caves, no random encounters. You have to actually go to um, <laughs> you have to actually go to like moving spots like dust clouds to really do it, to really get them. So you know you're not beset by a million billion Zubats along the way, and uh, I like that. I like being able to pick when and what I encounter. So. So, there we go. Almost to level 62. Probably fighting this karate dude will get me there. Okay. I've been running around on my bare feet to train. Do you have any idea how strong that's made me? Actually, I tend to wear bare feet outside as well. I think it's a holdover from uh, living in New Zealand. We don't often... Like, it, it's not a... Oh, you always have to be wearing shoes outside. We don't have a lot of poisonous creatures. And we don't have that many spiky... Um, you know... Spiky plants. Stuff like that. So, I remember just all the time as a kid... Uh, bare feet outside. Oh wow, that did not that did not take it out. Wow. Stone Edge, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Give me uh well we'll do Phantom Force. I don't wanna run out of a uh, PP for a bunch of these moves. Especially not Oblivion Wing, because it's gonna be useful to be able to reclaim HP throughout. Boom. Level 62. So we'll swap the team around a little bit so that everybody gets a good amount of XP. Black Belt Marcus. Ouch, you mean running around on my bare feet didn't help me improve a Pokemon battling? I guess not, Marcus. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, buddy. I will go for Miglimo. Alright. Back at it.
Oh, hello. All it takes to go on a journey is a pinch of curiosity. Really, that's it. Uh, that and money, my guy. I don't think there are many hotels or airlines that take curiosity as payment. Okay, Miggly Mo. What level is that thing? Level 58. Okay, so we're not we're not too far off. Uh, we'll do we'll do aerial ace. See how much that does. Oof, about a third. Slash. Oh, and that was a crit. Okay. I think we can cheese out one more of these and then we'll do a full restore. Depending on what attack it uses. Slash again. Don't get another crit, though. Okay. You know what? Actually, we can we can knock it out. Unless it's got, like, a powerful priority move, we should be fine. There we are. The weight of this backpack really digs into my shoulders. <laughs> I guess you also need a little bit of physical strength to go on a journey. Okay. Restore, there you go. Perfect, okay. Look at all these ruins. Wow. Oh, that's cool. I forgot that you got, like, a little view over the cliffside there. That's kind of epic. Any items hiding in here? I feel like there should be an item hiding in here. Nope. Okay. hi yeah, You got some nerve to challenge me! Actually, I think Miglimo will do well here. What do you got, Sigrid? Medicham. Okay. We'll just do fly. Haha! You missed! Hopefully this Oko's. It did! Alright. Hey, yeah, huh? You beat me. Yeah, I did. Okay, ooh. Um. No, wait. I need to go that way. Oh. Strength puzzle? Oh, hello. Moves are a result of Pokemon strength. Okay, Black Belt Onder. Oh, Pangoro. I think we'll do Fly for this as well. Alright, let's go. Oh, that was a crit, too. Here across. Oh, no. You poor thing. Okay, and fly again. Awesome possum. Oh, nice. Level 63. Impressive. Keep up the good work. Repetition is strength. Yeah, man. That makes sense. Here we go. Really? It's just for this item? Okay, we got a Carbos. That 
That's it, huh? Alright. Ooh, a horde battle. Alright, uh, Linus should be able to make short work of this. I don't think this is going to be a problem at all. Bulldoze. And a couple of them at least are going to have sturdy, so we might have to do another bulldoze. Did all of them survive? Oh my gosh, they all have sturdy, except for one. Oh, this is going to take forever. So we knocked out one of five. <laughs> okay. Not very effective. Linus fell straight down. Rock Blast. Rock Throw. Not very effective. And then bulldoze again, and it'll be over. Four Pokemon at the same time got 960 points. That's that seems rough. Okay. Oh, so we're. How do we get around that way then? This is the way we came. Oh. I wonder if I have any repels. I might use it just while I'm figuring out this... This puzzle here. Um, Dragon Claw. Ring out. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That did a decent amount, actually. My goodness. There we go. Damn. Into the bag. Let's go ahead and heal. Full restore on Linus. And uh, let's see... Doesn't look like I have any repels now. Get a Carbos. Um, give Carbos to Armus. Here we go. Oh, a Dread again. That's cool. Wish that had been our first encounter. It's definitely a, a design that grew on me more after the switch to 3D, which is kind of rare. Uh, most of the designs look better in the 2D sprites. I think Drudigan is the exact opposite. It looks way better in 3D. Okay, what do you want? You don't need to say a word. I can tell that you're here because you want to challenge a strong opponent. Not particularly. I want to solve this strength puzzle and just get to the next area. Psychic William, what you got? What you got, William? Oh, you got an Espeon. Very cool. Alright, let's go. We'll go for Bulldoze. Oh, I should have gone for U turn. Future Sight, huh? And U-turn. Let's go. Not stab, because mystifyingly enough, uh, Flygon is not a bug type. But there we are. I felt your strength with all of my being. I try, you know. Alright, let's head on down. Yes, please. Oh, 
so close. Oh, come on. Really? It's another Gurgur. Bulldoze. Oh, that did almost nothing. My goodness. And that did way more than I would like. Dragon Claw. Superpower? I forget what that is. Whoa! Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. That could have been real bad. Gee whiz. Yeah, maybe I do need to use the girder that I got. <laughs> if they're that tough. Oh man, Linus grew to level 63. Alright, that's good. Yeesh. First things first. My goodness. Uh, full restore. Yep. Okay, and then let's go ahead and switch the team around a little bit. We're back to Armus. At level 62. And being that we just we just saw how badly that could have gone, let's go ahead and we're just gonna waste a full restore on Armus for that last like 50 points. Oh, 86 points, sorry. Okay. Alright, we got up here brains and brawn duo. I'm going to teach you a lesson. People call us strange for being more interested in perfecting our teamwork than challenging the champion. No, I think that that's really cool. I actually love the, the Brains and Brawn duo. I think it makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's neat. They're both using Pokemon that share the Psychic and uh, Fighting Typing. I love that for these guys. Uh, Aerial Ace, and I think that the Gallade is going to definitely be the, the bigger, the bigger beast. Oh, and we O-code it, alright. Okay, Minisham Special Attack, uh, Brick Break, who are you going to use it on? Okay. That's fine. Let's go, Miglimo. It's crazy that the most difficult battle that we've had so far is just a random wild girder. Man, this is boring. You can really see the frustration of defeat on my partner's face. <laughs> Just keep supporting each other, guys. You'll get there. Oh, up this way. And are we there? Is that it? Okay, one more. What you looking at? You think I'm just doing this fairy tale girl thing for funsies, do you? Get a taste of my power. All right. Zoomerol. Actually, with Armus up front, it's probably not the greatest choice. Level 56. And let's see. Let's let's do. Let, we'll, we'll do an Oblivion Wing. Let's we'll see how much that does. About half, a little over. All right. I don't think there's anything that it can do to knock us out. Play rough. That's gonna hurt, but not a lot. Okay, about a, about a third. Okay, and we'll just soak back up some more HP. Nice. Almost back up to full. Zoomerol is bulky. It's got a lot of HP to share. Florges? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and switch for this. Um... 
Not that I really have anything that's going to do like a huge amount of damage against the floor. Di wow, we don't really have a lot for um, fairy type coverage either. I'm glad that there's no fairy type Elite Four, which is kind of a weird thing. You would kind of expect there to be. Definitely should see if I can pop up Poison type move on Dwarf. Would be useful, I think. Okay. You like flowers, huh? Well, have some of these petals. Flash? Oh, okay. Dance. It's gonna hit. Even with the accuracy drop. Alright, done. Oh, and we're confused now. How many Pokemon does she have, though? Oh, level 68 for Wharf. Very good. Oh, no, we beat her. Whoa, you, you're good. Thank you. I try. Okay, we got a Hex Maniac there. We got a Ranger here. This seems like an opportune place to stop the episode, though. Uh, I want to thank you. Wow, look at that. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one. But till then, take care. Bye.